Have you ever feel that you are doing everything right, you are shipping your features, you are writing solid code, but you can't move past mid-level? After helping hundreds of devs grow their career, I see the same exact patterns again and again, which keep them stuck. So in this video I will walk you through the main things that hold developers back and how to fix them. It is the same advice that I am giving to my students and for a lot of people just a single shift in the mindset can unlock new progress. So what is being stuck on the mid-level typically look like? You are working in some company, you are delivering your features, you are doing everything that you can, but you are not really making any technical decisions. You just don't feel like you have enough experience to do correct choices. When there is a talk about architectural decisions or choosing some specific tool, you are feeling stuck. You also might often avoid leadership tasks or reviewing pull requests. So mostly you are just simply working on the tickets that are given to you and you are not defining the roadmap. And most developers on this level have a huge problem. They really want to become a senior developer, but they think that they need to know more technologies or build more projects or learn new languages or frameworks. And this is not on what you should be focused if you want to become a senior developer. You are too focused on day-to-day -day tasks and not on your growth. Additionally, you are too focused on your specific features and you simply don't look on a bigger picture. So questions like planning architecture, improving performance of the application or helping other colleagues in the team are difficult for you. So you really need to shift your vision. And this is exactly why I built a front-end bootcamp to create a roadmap with exact steps that can help people to become a real seniors from middle level. So what senior developer is doing that you are not doing? First of all, it is a lot about architecture. You must understand how to plan architecture of the project and when this architecture would work or would not work. How can you achieve that? Only by building a lot of different solutions for different problems. And it is not enough to just implement some feature, you might want to solve it in different ways and understand the pros and cons of every single solution. Additionally, most often middle developers are focused just on the code, they are not focused on the business value. They are trying just to implement the specific feature, but they don't think, ok, is it really what our business needs, can we implement something easier or better, or maybe solve this problem from completely different direction. So you need to switch your vision from coding problems to business problems. Another extremely important point for senior developer is mentorship and leadership skills. It is a must as a senior developer to help other developers in your team. So at the bare minimum you can start with reviewing other people's pull requests. It will help you to improve your own code, understand easier different solutions and if the solution is good or not and improve your reading of the code. And then later you can understand the problematic of the code just by reading it without execution. And from the leadership, it is extremely important that you can take a leading role in your team, at least with helping other developers with their features, with planning or solving specific bugs, which are really tricky. This will help you to become a real senior developer. Additionally, you need to have a lot of knowledge about system design and design patterns. First of all, you need to know all popular design patterns, but additionally, you need to understand when to use them and what benefits they are bringing. And as a senior developer, you must know how to optimize performance of the applications and how to build your project in a scalable way. Additionally to that, a huge plus if you have a good communication skills, because you must communicate not just with your own colleagues, but also with stakeholders, for example. And they help to improve all these skills inside my bootcamp, like architectural skills, programming skills, passing senior interviews, and obviously implementing real projects on the senior level. So what should be your next step? For sure you think, ok, there are too many skills to become a senior developer, it is really difficult. So just pick one or two skills and try to improve them for a month. The easiest would be for example starting with reviewing pull requests and reading the code. Even if people don't assign pull requests to you, you can always check what other people are doing and how their code is looking like. First of all, you will understand the project that you are working on better and secondly, you will see different ways of solving problems. 
Additionally, I would recommend trying to improve your architectural thinking. First of all, you can just sit and try to plan your feature before implementation, like on the piece of paper or in some design tool like Excalidraw. It is really great if you can plan your feature 80 or 90% without even writing a single line of code. Then with time you can start planning bigger features or the whole project. And here is one shortcut for you. If you want to improve your code faster, you can always just assign your pull request to some knowledgeable person in the team. In this case you know that you will get a feedback from the experienced person and it will help you to improve your coding skills faster. So if you are serious about transforming yourself from middle developer to senior developer, check my bootcamp that is focused exactly on that. You can find the link to it in the description under the video.